Okay, good morning everyone. This is my pantry door. Um, you can see I've done this really cool obscured glass treatment to it. And I've had a lot of requests to know how I did it and it was super easy and I thought I'd share. I did intend to share it while I was doing it, but life got crazy and um, yesterday I had someone coming to film my kitchen so I had to hurry and get it done, but I am going to show you guys still. Um, just so you can see, I went ahead and did it on the inside of my door just because it gets touched less. I really, on the inside, I like um, the texture. Uh, but I opted because you can't spray glass cleaner right on it. I just thought the outside where my kids touch it more made more sense, but I wanted you to get to see both sides. Um, so you could decide for yourself if you're doing your own project and in the future I might actually do the other side too because double coats makes it even harder to see through um, and I really like the texture. Um, so the reason I wanted that, I had a lot of people ask me, it's not that my pantry is terribly disorganized but it's also you know not attractive. I've got my garbage can in there. I really would just prefer not to have all that on display. I know some people have really cute um, pantries, I, I think that'll probably be the last project I ever did in my house because I don't have time. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and show you with this frame. I wanted to use the frame so that you could see the whole effect of like how I had to get in the crevices. And I have everything I need right here. I'm not going to clean the glass in front of you. I've already done that. But the first step, the only prep work you have to do is to clean it with glass cleaner and make sure it's thoroughly dry. So there's a smudge or two on this. I wasn't really that. This is just a dollar store frame that I had that I was fine to waste. Um, this product is by a company called Plaid. Where is my... There we go. And it's gallery glass window color. They have different colors. If you want to do a stained glass look, I was just going for clear. So that's the window color. And I bought mine just online at plaid.com. But I did notice that you could look for a retailer near you, so they probably do carry it locally. Um, I just didn't do that, I just ordered it. And it said a uh, square foot per bottle. So I ordered like 10 or 12, and I didn't need that many. Um, I have four or five left over. But if I wanted to do more coats. Um, and it looks, feels, smells, and dries on your fingers very similarly to Elmer's glue. So if anybody wants to do an experiment um, and see if Elmer's glue would do the same thing, I'd be interested to hear. I might do it myself if I ever find the time. So other than that, I need that. My glass, my clean glass, a couple paper towels, and some Q-tips. And I have to try to set this up where you guys can see. Um, I'm sorry, this, I am not obviously a professional video maker. <laughs> okay, I think you can see that pretty well. So, um, don't shake it, but you can tap it firmly. I'm having mine upside down, so all the stuff comes to the bottom. And these two are nearly empty, so I might open the new one if they're too hard to squeeze out. But um, So basically, I just started getting the product on here. Um, I, I'm going to cover most of it. I'm not going to get too close to the bottom because the gravity is going to take a whole bunch down there myself. And you really do want it um, relatively thick. And if it does that and it drips, it's not a big deal. I'll just wipe it off in a minute. So I'm just getting like a whole bunch on here. Um, and then I'm going to start kind of like finger painting, just spreading it around and trying to get it everywhere. The website has different kind of designs you can try to do to get different looks. I went with super simple. I kind of just wanted it to look um, almost like rain, which wouldn't be a specific pattern or anything like that. Um, so I will add more at the bottom to the last if I still need it, but I'm really just trying to get it good amount up in this whole section. Um, so I am not, 
At first I tried to be, it doesn't do any good to try to stress about um, getting it on your edges. So once I get it right here, I just kind of start, now obviously on my door it wasn't wiggling like this on me, just kind of start patting it with my fingertips. Um, you can see it's still still dripping at the bottom. That's okay. Um, once I now I'm not obviously being very careful or anything like that right now, and I really don't want it to look too patterned. I don't want any like straight rows. So now that I've gotten it to this point, I'm gonna go. I'm using my finger and kind of trying to push it in to the frame. Can you guys still see it well? Okay. Um, like this and I'm gonna do that on all the edges and just make sure the other thing you want to watch for are bubbles I don't know if you can see those um, see those bubbles those will dry just like that I I missed one there was one on my door and it's gonna bug me forever probably nobody else will ever notice it but you're gonna to want to watch so Anyway, I'm pushing it. As I push it, I'm actually trying to push it into the crease, into the frame. Um, so, and then I'm just going to go back over with, I'm just going to make sure that I feel like it's pretty even. I've popped bubbles. There's no spots that look um, too thick or too thin or like smudged. There's really no you know, exact way this should look. And I did a pretty good job actually the first time, but I, and so that's the whole section to me. See, and I kind of, especially around the edges because you've, you've done those edges and I don't want them to look like a row. That makes sense. So now, um, this part's looking pretty good. That's really all there is to it. Um, I'm going to go, gosh, I say um a lot. You can tell I don't do videos a lot. This is kind of why I hesitate. But it's really easier to learn this way. So, Okay, so I'm just going to try to finish it off. So I'm doing all the same things. Um, on all of my panes on my, on my door, it kind of pooled here at the bottom and that is okay not a big deal if you're doing it something that you can lay down flat that would be way easier but I didn't want to like I could lay this down flat but I wanted to show you guys how to deal with the gravity factor because that's how I had to do it on my door um, so again pushing it in to the edges Now this does take like several hours to dry. So I did my door, I did what I could do just like at bedtime because I didn't want to have to worry about anybody touching it and let it dry overnight. Except for the, I started the bottom and worked my way up. So as I got towards the top where my kids couldn't reach and stuff, I was not as concerned. Um, if you got to this point and it looked really thin in some areas, because this one's actually pretty thick, it's looking really good. Um, sometimes on my paints it was thin. I would just put, squeeze a little bit of this into my fingers and then dab it on. So, okay, now at this point, you're going to want to wipe off your excess. So, this is all I did is take my paper towel and go ahead and wipe it off um, it really will just look a little shiny if it does dry there it's not gonna look horrible but I didn't want it all over my wood so I first took my paper towel and dried it off um, and then I'm sorry I keep saying um when you you're gonna notice that it's on the insides the very insides of the frame and at first, I kept trying to go in there and get really close and wipe it with my Q-tip, and then you can see what happens. It messes up, and so I just quit doing that. So anything on just the, the very inside ledges, I pretty much left. I just used my Q-tips and my paper towels, and I made sure the fronts 
we're all clean. And so um, you can see there is plenty down there, but when it dries, it won't be noticeable and it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna show you that I have all of mine are like that. And um, it's a little shiny if you're really looking at it. Otherwise, when you're standing back here looking at the door, you can't tell and it just really doesn't bother me. So it just wasn't worth, you just didn't want the extra line on the inside of the frame. So that's it. This is what it looks like and it's going to sit for several hours. Don't touch it. Don't do anything. And when it's dry, it will look like that. Uh, and the only other thing is I did read that there is a sealer you can buy. It, it takes 12 to 14 days for this to cure fully and then you can seal it. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do that because I did um, email the customer service and ask how I could clean it and they said I could use 50% uh, glass cleaner and water sprayed on the rag first and then wipe um, no spraying directly onto there and so I don't know if I can I'm just undecided I probably will seal it eventually especially if I end up doing um, the other side but for now uh, it's going to be like this and I have a good 14 days before I could seal it anyway so if you guys try it, uh, tag me in your stuff. If anybody wants to try the Elmer's glue, glue experiment, let me know. I would be really interested to hear. Um, it's just like when I was a little kid and I played with the glue. I have this dry glue and it peels right off and it smells, looks, and feels a lot like Elmer's glue. I'm not saying it is. Don't anybody come at me. I'm just saying I would be interested to see what Elmer's glue would do with a project like this. Okay, thanks you guys. I hope that helped someone. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it was long and boring probably and I said um a lot. <laughs>